In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of September the 15, 2017. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is also very convenient as we celebrate, we remember Our Lady of Sorrows, the Theotokos, to also remember that scene of the Gospel of Luke where Simon uh, was moved by the Holy Spirit. <coughs> the very hour, the very day that Jesus was being brought there by his mother, Mary, and Joseph, his legal father. As they went to offer the sacrifice for the firstborn, first maleborn, he entered also, he was expecting there. The um, Holy Spirit, this, this was a righteous man. And the Holy Spirit had told him that he would not see death until he was able to contemplate on the Messiah. In Hebrew, Messiah is anointed. The same as we call in Greek Christ, the Christ, the anointed one for the salvation from God and he immediately recognized Jesus and in that situation after blessing after he blessed the uh, family he told the mother of Jesus and your soul will be pierced so that the thoughts of all hearts may be revealed pierced by his spade. The Theotokos, which is the greatest title of our mother Mary, is even greater than, the, than that of Virgin. The Theotokos is our model, our true attainable model, for there is absolutely no one who could do the same deeds as Jesus Christ for he is God. Many throughout the years, throughout the centuries, have been have granted, have been granted to emulate him a little bit, but certainly not. Neither on the cross, neither on the way of his suffering. He is the supreme Lamb and the only Lamb of God. And the only other person, human person, that has accomplished a perfect ending is also the Virgin. Through several months, I was, for several years, a couple, three or two or three years, I was amazed at the calling of the Archangel Gabriel to Mary, Kecharitomene. You, have, you who have been made full of grace, full of the Holy Spirit. From that I understand clearly the Panhagia, the old saint, all holy. There's absolutely no paragon, no comparison, no, com no parallel to being Theotokos. Theotokos is the one who has given birth to God. There's absolutely no one. There are millions of virgins. There have been millions of virgins, at least a great majority of the presbyters in the Roman Catholic See, all or a great majority of the monks in the Orthodox, and all the nuns, 
everywhere, supposedly most of them, but they make no big difference. For virginity is great, but it's not the greatest part of the virgin. She had to be virgin, because the father himself begot his only son. When we understand and read the sacred scripture, we understand our creed, our true creed. The Father begot His only Son, and the Father aspired the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the love between the Father and the Son. The Holy Spirit was, be was aspired by the Father. Nowhere in the Holy Scripture does it say, that the Son aspired the Holy Spirit. Rather, the Son says the Holy Spirit proceeded from the Father. And then we have here that the Son was to be incarnate and the Father reserved for Himself to be the Father in heaven and the Father on earth. And it was through the power of the Holy Spirit that the Virgin became pregnant. So the only father of Jesus is God the Father on earth and on heaven. And the only mother of Jesus is the Theotokos Mary. That is very beautiful. She also is our model, I say. Because you see, the Lord Jesus Christ is true man, but also is true God. None of us can equal him in any way. But Mary is entirely another thing. She is just a mere mortal. She is no God, but she is full of the Holy Spirit. And she shines splendorously on the side of the cross, on the suffering accepted for the salvation of all, out of sake of love to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We should imitate her in everything. How is she? She hears the word of God, and when she doesn't understand, she keeps that, those words in her heart. She is obedient up to death, up to the piercing of her soul, out of love. Those are the four basic characteristics that we should strive to do, just as the Virgin did. It is impossible for us to do it, but it starts with our wanting, with our desire, and then we are open to the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit, because of the love of God, will take us there. We just, last month, a month ago, we celebrated the Dormition of the Virgin. When she died, she immediately was carried unto heaven by, his son, by her son, Jesus. In her death is the crossing into eternal life. And we are also invited to do that very same. How do we start? First, we need to receive her as a disciple that loved Jesus. You and I are supposed to be that disciple. So let us receive our mother with all our heart. May the Lord be with you, and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.